What's going on guys? So today we're going to be debadging my car. I've never actually done this before so hopefully I don't mess anything up and end up scratching my paint. So first let's, I'm going to take the car out, reverse in so I could work in the shade. All right, let's get to work. All right guys, so I'm gonna be using this heat gun right here to help uh, loosen up the glue, the adhesive behind there, as well as this goof off right here. Um, that's the reason why I'm wearing the gloves actually, because I really don't want this stuff on me. Uh, this should help break down the residue right there, adhesive and glue, um, to make it a lot easier to remove all that this, uh, um, leftover glue from the emblem. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start heating it up. Let's see how this goes. You can already see I can move these around now. So it should be pretty easy to remove now. Let's use this fishing line. All right, let's move the symmetrical wheel drive part two. Pretty sure this is already, yeah, this one actually heated up as well, so we really need to heat it up. Alright, now I'll take this clean rag right here. Let's take some of this, this rag. Microfiber cloth actually. Some of this goof off. This stuff really smells by the way. I'm just going to rub against this adhesive just to loosen it up and I'm going to try to remove my finger. Actually, that comes right off now.
There we go. So, word of caution. Do not leave this on there. Once I'm done debadging the other side, I'm going to come back, show you guys the finished product, and then I'm going to quickly wash this off just because I don't want this stuff eating away at my clear coat. And we're all done. Check this out. Took maybe all of 10 minutes to do. Looks a lot more clean and simple. I did have my GTI badge back in the day, but I didn't do it myself. It's probably the first thing I did to that car, but it was at a time where uh, I wasn't too comfortable touching or messing with cars. Now I tried doing everything myself. Of course I've broken my fair share of stuff and regretted doing a few things. Just cause I've had my car sit for a while unoperable. But that's my fault. That's how I learned. So that being said, I wanted to talk about a couple things here. Um, first, I wanna try uploading a video every Wednesday. So like once a week, uh, whether that be just a vlog just talking to you guys just talk about random stuff about my car what happened um, anything new what I plan to do with it so that being said um, I did order one of the new steering wheels that Subi Speed just put out at first I the moment they released it I was ready to buy it and I thought to myself well it's five hundred dollars and all it does is just pretty much replace the material around the steering wheel is it worth it? I don't know. I had fallen in love with the Alcantara and half carbon fiber version. Um, after thinking about it, I was like, well, I've heard the Alcantara gets dirty really quick. I didn't want to worry about having to clean it every week or if it becomes permanently damaged. I don't know how it works. Um, so that went on and about just yesterday I was thinking to myself, well, I've done all these modifications, but the steering wheel is probably the one that we touch every day when we get into the car. It's the one we interact with the most. So why wouldn't I think about, you know, modifying that? So um, I did see they had the half leather with the carbon fiber on the bottom. And I'll probably put a picture of it somewhere here. So I did order that one. It is a pre-order. Uh, supposed to ship early September. I'm hoping it's the first week of September. I don't know, when I did order those taillights, they were also pre-ordering, took about two months to get those in. So, pretty sure I could do, I could wait and I'll survive. So, uh, once I get that wheel in, I'll also do an install video on that. That should be pretty interesting, it'll be my first ever steering wheel install, I've never messed with airbags before. Um, kind of scare me. So it's going to be like kind of diffusing a ticking time bomb. So that should be fun. So I'll leave you guys with that, and uh, hopefully see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, bye.